This is the walkthrough video for PCTC 2020 2021 round two, question three, growing younger. So here we're given this strange counting system for age. And the idea is we now have to input the current age using the strange counting system and then output their age that, or, or the age of this alien next year, according to this strange counting system. So this is, this is actually quite an interesting problem. I think there are a few ways of doing this. Um, one way is to, for example, convert things into ASCII, um, like use this ASCII table then kind of convert um, these letters into numbers and deal with that deal with it that way. I'm not going to do that because I think that's actually harder. And the reason it's harder is if we look closely at the table, the capital letters come before the lowercase letters. And they're also not like directly after each other. So you have all of the capital letters, then you have some random like brackets and symbols, and you have a lowercase letters. And so dealing with that, it's just going to be much more hassle than if we were to literally just get out um, a, a full string or a full list of all um, 26 letters in the alphabet, lowercase, and then another uppercase set. So how do we get all letters in the alphabet? Well, in Python, you can actually just import the alphabet. Now you can bother typing it all out if you want, or I guess you can even just Google it. In PCTC, I think you can just Google for like a string of the alphabet. Um, but it is, it's a much more elegant solution to just um, use the Python command. It's probably faster as well. So from the module called strings, you can import um, ASCII lowercase, and you can also import ASCII uppercase. And so these are the two alphabets um, that we want. Now let's create a list called ages. And because um, ASCII lowercase means that you're older than ASCII uppercase. So you're born in an uppercase. So you're, you're, you're born with an uppercase Z and you basically end with a lowercase A. And so let's do, um, let, let's say ages is just gonna be equal to list uh, ASCII lowercase plus list of ASCII uppercase. And so I'll just print this out for you so you understand what this is. Um, but it should just be a list of all of the uh, letters in the alphabet, first the lowercase ones and then the uppercase ones. Um, no module name strings. Um, it could just be string. Yeah, I think it is string. Yeah, and so you see that this is a list of all the lowercase letters. And if I scroll all the way, you can now see it's a list of the uppercase letters following the lowercase ones. Um, and what ASCII lowercase and ASCII uppercase actually are, they're both strings. So ASCII lowercase is just a string of 26 characters of the alphabet. And ASCII uppercase is the same thing, but the, the, the letters, sorry, the, yeah, the letters are all um, uppercase. So we have ages. Now we can actually bother with inputting our current age. Um, so let's do current is going to be equal to an input. And now let's figure out at what position in our ages list um, our current is. So that's going to be ages.index current. And this is the um, current index of our current age. Um, and then next year, what's going to happen? Well, they're going to get younger, essentially, according to this counting system. They get younger. And if they get younger, we have to shift them to the left. And you can see this, this does make sense because if I, again, scroll all the way to the right, you see the very end number or the very end letter is Z, and that's what they're born on. And the very beginning letter is lowercase a, and that's what they end on, um, according to the question. So we want to take that current index and then like minus one from it so that we shift leftwards uh, to get their new age. And so their new age is just going to be ages with this index. But... Um, if they are already at A, if they are already at index zero, this is their age. We don't want to shift them any further because the question tells us that you cannot um, get any younger if you are A. So you just stick at A indefinitely, age A indefinitely. And so what we should do here is what we, we should probably choose the... So, I mean, what you can do is you can kind of just assign this to an, a variable and then do an if statement by saying, if this is negative one, then reset it back to zero. Right, because if it if it's negative one, that means the inputted age was lowercase a, and so we want to reset that back to lowercase a. We we don't want to change that. Um, but I think a more elegant solution is you can use max, and what max will do is it will select the maximum, the maximum number of the two values we're giving it. So in max, we're firstly giving it what we think is the new index of the age. But remember, we don't want the age to go to minus one. If if the age is already at index zero, we want to keep it at index zero. So let's choose the maximum of our new age and zero. And what this means is in every case, it will actually just select this, right? Because in every case, our age index is going to be above zero, except when the inputted age was lowercase a, in which case the value of this is going to be minus one. And therefore, max will end up selecting this zero as opposed to 
this minus one. And so I think this is a really neat way um, of essentially in ensuring that we never like get younger than lowercase a. And so finally, we can just print that off and hopefully get our juicy points. Awesome.